Everyone is crying out due to the economic crisis, which has led to the failure of very many business ventures. And because of this, very many people explain this in their own perspective. However, what could be the truth? Lack of capital or funding, retaining an inadequate management team, a faulty infrastructure or business model, and unsuccessful marketing initiatives could be some of the reasons that businesses continue to fail at an early stage. With these many reasons, you may ask here or there. However, shall we keep asking these questions or it is our obligation as Success Strategies Africa explain what it takes to succeed. We are to talk about poverty and underdevelopment, the brutality of these two, 95% of them, of poverty and underdevelopment, the brutality is faced at the micro level, at the individual level, not at the macro. The macro only find five. So, action to transform yourself begins largely 95% with you. Today, we'll bring to you Dr. Paul Wabiga, an economist, a lecturer at Makere University, to take us through his solutions as we dig deeper in some of the ways to maintain a successful business venture. Uh, there is a saying that it's better to dream big, but start what? But start small. Um, because of that line of thinking, many of our youths have failed to succeed. Not knowing that actually businesses start small and they grow with time. Most of the big entrepreneurs that we are seeing around the country have been in those businesses for a very long time. Many say there are many ways of killing a rat. However, the question is, should we apply this to defining success? Dr. Paul Wabiga answers this people question. People are, are clever people. You need to be clever to become rich. To become wealthy calls for wisdom. You must have wisdom to be wealthy. Why? It is hard, for instance, to become rich. But it is even harder to stay rich. It is hard to become wealthy. But it's even harder to stay wealthy. Wealthy people work because they love to work. Rich people work because they are supposed to work in order to really maintain the, rich, the riches that they have. People with money must work to have the money. Must work to have the money. These ones must work. The others have to work. The wealth love to work. Many of us think that having money means a call for success. However, how true is this? The only problem is that youths and even generally people think that one, we save after spending on whatever we wanted to spend on. Saving is a function of somebody's income. You get me? It's a function of somebody's what? Income. What you earn gives you part of what you should save. The first thing is that you must decide on how much, what is the proportion of savings that you want to make from the income that you earn. The second condition is how you transform these savings in, and channel them into productive investments. As Success Strategies Africa, we believe that if one is always on the road of success, there will definitely be a way out and it is from this back that we pledge to bring to educative and informative motivation lessons and business mentors, mindset coaches and business collaboration opportunities. So don't miss this full interview on our YouTube channels at Success Strategies Africa and on all our social media handles.